Hey guys, how's it going? Glad to have you back here. In this video, I'm going to be giving you the complete tutorial on setting up SideStore, StickJit, and Dolphin iOS. So let's go ahead and get started. So there's a few things, a few prerequisites we want to go over. Um, first off, we're going to be doing some file transferring later on. So I would recommend that you install this app here, this unzip. Here's the app store listing for it. Um, this just makes it a little easier to transfer files using the built-in file browser on um, on iTunes. So I would recommend doing that, and I'll show you why later. But go ahead and install that. Now what you're going to want to do, you're going to need a Mac or a Windows PC for this. I'm going to be showing you the Windows tutorial. However, I'm also going to have this side store website linked. So if you want to follow the Mac version, you can do that. Or if you don't want to sit here and listen to me go off for 20 minutes, you can just do this yourself. It's really not that hard. But for those that are a little more intimidated by this whole process, I'm going to walk you through everything. Like I said, it's really not that hard. There's just there's a few steps we get we got to go through and I'll kind of explain everything as we go here. Looks like we have a good view there. So we're going to be downloading some files here. First one is alt server and then sidestore.ipa and then jitterbug pair. You're also going to want the uh, iTunes and iCloud installer if you're on Windows here. It says if you have the Microsoft Store versions, uninstall those, both of them, and install these ones here. Um, now you're also going to need here Windows 10 or higher, an Apple ID, an internet connection, and an iPhone with iOS 14 or iPad OS 14 or later. Now I should also say that if you want to do StickJit, you will need a device iOS 17.4 or higher, excluding the 18.4 beta 1. I'm not sure why you would have that installed, but um, that's what you need. And right now I'm on iOS 18.4.1, the latest version that's out. So I have all these files installed here or downloaded. Let's go ahead and just extract these to their own little folders. I'm using 7-zip. I'm assuming you probably already have that installed, but if you don't, you can also just extract it using the built-in Windows extractor. But I would imagine you have 7-zip installed already because it's fairly common. So we have those. We'll go ahead and get these out of the way just to keep things a little more clear and concise. Um, I'm not going to run these installers here because I take a few minutes, but install your iTunes 64 setup here, run that, and then after you've done that, run your iCloud setup, and then go through and it'll um, it'll have you configure it and do a few things. I'm not going to show that because it's, like I said, it takes, it takes a few minutes to go through that and it's very self-explanatory. You probably already have these, these uh, things installed if you have an iPhone. So we're going to skip over that, that uh, step there. The next one, we're going to go ahead and grab a cable, USB cable. In this case, I have a USB-A to lightning cable. Um, but if you have a newer Mac, then obviously use whatever cable you can use to connect your iPhone to the computer. We're going to do that. If you're prompted to trust the computer, just press trust. Uh, it may not say it for me here because I've already done it. But again, if it asks you, just trust. Now, we're going to go here. I'm gonna go to Alt Installer, and we're going to run this setup. Click Next. Start installing. Okay, installation complete. We can go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, now it says to launch and launch alt server and hold shift while we're doing that. So we're gonna open the tray here and you'll see the little alt server icon. We're gonna hold shift and click on it and you'll see it says there's an option for sideload IPA. So we're gonna do that and select the device. You'll see it has it right there. Now, 
we're gonna navigate to our downloads folder. It's already there for me, but it may not be for you. So just go ahead and find your downloads folder and then click the side store IPA we downloaded. Click open. Now, obviously I'm gonna skip ahead because um, I can't show you my information here, but you're gonna just log in to your Apple ID. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so you can see here that it says installing side store. Now, something to keep in mind with this, if uh, when you're um, entering your information to log in, it might prompt you to enter the, the code that gets sent to your device. So just go ahead and do that as well. It says it was successful. And if I go to my device, you can see side store right here. So now we're gonna have to trust the certificate that was installed. So we're gonna go to our settings and then general, go down to our VPN device management and we will trust that developer, which is us. Click allow, go back. And what we also wanna do is enable developer mode. So we're gonna go here, gonna go down to privacy security, scroll all the way down. You should have developer mode on there. Make sure you install side store first or else developer mode won't show up. So you're gonna click that. You're going to toggle it on and it'll have you restart your device. And once you do that, it'll basically prompt you to uh, confirm that you want to enable developer mode. So just go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we can go ahead and go to the next step. We're gonna go to um, actually, before we extract the jitterbug pair, I just want to mention, make sure your device has a passcode. We're going to, ex we already extracted that. So we're going to go here and we're going to run this jitterbug pair. Okay. We'll press trust. You might have to run it multiple times. Yeah. It's making me do my touch ID. So, um, We'll do that one more time. And there we go. So this here that it just generated is the pairing file. We're gonna need that. So we've generated that. Um, something to keep in mind with your pairing file, it's specific to your device and your firmware version. So if you if there's ends up being an update for iOS, you install that update, you're gonna need to generate a new pairing file. So if you update your phone and then all of a sudden you can't enable JIT, that's why. So just keep that in mind. Now, this is where um, the unzip app comes into play. So what we're gonna do is go into iTunes. We're gonna go to our phone up here. We're gonna go to file sharing. And you see here, it shows our unzip. We can drag files into that. Um, we can also use these other ones, but I just find that this one uh, is a bit easier to, to navigate and keep track of files. So we're gonna take this, drag it over, and you see it right there. So fairly straightforward. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to the next step here. On side store, we're gonna launch that. Click allow, allow. Now it's gonna have you select your pairing file. So we'll do that, press okay. We're gonna to navigate to our, let's see, on my iPhone, go down to unzip, and there's our pairing file right there. It's, if it gives you some sort of error about the pairing file, just close side store, and then go into settings, scroll all the way down, reset pairing file, delete reset, and then try it one more time. It'll have you select it. The first time this, this happened to me, it, it gave me some sort of error. I'm not really sure why, but just try it again and you should be good. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, go to the app store. We're gonna download this Stoss VPN. So just search that, or if you have the, the site pulled up, you can just click this link here, but you're gonna go here. Install that. 
This basically allows the device to connect to itself through a, through a VPN tunnel. So we're going to go ahead and see, there we go. Open that. Next. 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 Now, when you press connect, it will prompt you to allow. So we'll do that. It should just um, configure it for us. There we go. Okay. And it had me enter my passcode and then we are good. If it doesn't do anything like you just saw there, just go back to the app and then press connect one more time. It should automatically save all the VPN information for you and then go back to the app here. So we're connected now and you can see up there it says VPN, which means we're good. So now go back over to side store and press sign in with Apple ID. And we're just going to sign in with the same information that we did before when we were installing side store. So I'll do that real quick. And then if it asks you if you'd like to revoke any previous certificates, I just, I always say yes. Um, it's usually does that if you've used it before on like other devices or whatever. So now it'll give you a little thing about side store and then it'll say refresh. Um, so I just go ahead and do refresh and then keep app extensions. And this will go and refresh. It'll close side store and then you can go ahead and reopen it afterward. Um, while we're doing that, we'll go to next step here. And we've already signed in. We're going to go ahead and you can see it closed. It says refreshing up there. Go back into side store and it says to just do refresh all just to make sure everything's good, which I mean, we just did, but uh, it says you must do this if you install, when you ever, whenever you install side store. So we'll just do it just to be safe. So now we should be good. Whenever you want to install any apps, you want to make sure that VPN is running. All right. Now, what we're going to want to do next here is download this StickJit. If you just Google StickJit, you can take it to this GitHub page. We're going to go down to where it says releases. Right here. And we're going to download this IPA. I already have it. So I'll go back over to side store. And then we'll press this plus button go back to our downloads and we will press that. Let that install. Okay. So it kind of froze on the install. So what I did was just closed out of alt or side store and then did it again. It went through. I'm not really sure why it hung on there, but you can see that stick jit is now installed. So that is great. We are getting there. Now we're going to go to our sources here. You don't have to do it this way, but I find this is just the easiest way. So you'll see that it'll start showing the recommended sources. We're going to go to the oatmeal dome source and add that. Press done. Add source. Okay. And there we go. Now we can just download Dolphin iOS right to our device without going to the website or anything. I like using the public beta because it has some updated features. So we'll go ahead and install that. Okay, so that's installed. Now you can see here we have our three apps. Now something that I haven't met that I didn't mention yet, which I probably should. If you didn't know this already, Apple only allows you to have three of these apps installed with a free developer account, which is what we are using here. So keep that in mind. You, you can't install or sideload any other apps or else it'll give you an error. Um, there's a way around that. You can deactivate apps and you can back them up and whatever, but you can deactivate them and then it'll let you install other apps. If you have a premium account, a premium developer account, then you can install as many as you want. Um, so just keep that in mind. There's also some other ways you can get around that by using like live container, which I'm not going to cover here because it's a bit more in depth, but 
You can do that. You can use some other third-party signing services, but I just like using this here. Really, this is the only app that I want to use. I have my other retro apps uh, from the App Store directly, but anyway, so we have these apps here. I'm going to copy some games over. Let me show you how to do that real quick. So I have my apps or my games right here in this folder. I'm just going to go ahead and select all three of these. Actually, I'll put those there for now. Forgot you need to launch Dolphin first. Do yes, okay. Now we'll go back here and our Dolphin folder should be created. We'll grab our files once more. Go here. You're gonna put it in software. Now, if you have any game saves you wanna transfer from another device, make sure that's focusing. Um, this is the folder you're gonna do here. You're gonna put them in, the GC, and then you'll put it you'll put in whatever region, and then it'll, it'll have a card A folder that you're gonna put those in. So just in case you wanna transfer it from any other devices. But we'll go back over to Dolphin. Actually, you might wanna close that. Reopen it. And you can see that it's showing our games now. So if we try and launch this, you'll see that it doesn't have access to GIT yet. We can do slow mode if we want, but that's not what this tutorial is about. So go ahead and launch StickJIT. Now we're gonna select our pairing file. That's the one that we transferred over before. Select that same one. And there we go. Now enable JIT and select Dolphin iOS. There we go. It is that easy. So you can see that the game is booting and we are set. Now you can use StickJIT on other, on other apps like Play or Flycast, anything like that. Um, it, they'll just show up on this list here. So yeah, that is basically the tutorial. I think I covered everything here. Um, I should also mention if you kind of going along what I was saying before, if you didn't know, these apps will expire. So you just want to make sure that you're going in and refreshing these every couple days. You'll get notifications from Side Store telling you that you need to, to refresh them. You don't have to be connected to the computer anymore. I should also mention that. You just need to go in and enable that VPN. I just keep it enabled, you might as well. Another thing I wanna show you here, if I disable my Wi-Fi, so I'm just in airplane mode, the VPN is still running. I can actually go in and enable JIT without any sort of internet connection, which is awesome. Um, it doesn't work on cell data, so you can either connect to Wi-Fi or if you're on cell data, go into airplane mode, get rid of all your internet connections there, then go in and enable it, and then you can go back and turn your cell data on. So really cool. It's probably the best solution we've had in years, so I'm really excited about this. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Uh, I will answer all of them and help you guys through this. But if you just follow each step and you go through and you read all of these here and, and all the steps, you'll be just fine. You really shouldn't run into any problems. But if you do, again, please leave a comment and let me know. If you have any other comments, uh, criticism, please feel free. I, I uh, wanna improve my channel as much as I can and grow as much as I can. So if you have anything you wanna let me know, please do. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, especially those that have been watching my new videos that I've been posting. I really appreciate the support. Remember to always be grateful for what you have in life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.